the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Sorry for starting the Mass a little bit late. <laughs> we couldn't find the stuff for Mass, but... Uh, <laughs> And everything was in the sacristy, in the uh, chapel. But anyway, uh, God is very happy that you are here. Those who are watching, uh, welcome. Let us, uh, uh, in this uh, weekend when we uh, honor the Holy Family, um, pray for all families, that they hopefully uh, be an example for all of our families. Uh, <clears throat> So, as usual, let us begin by humbly acknowledging our failures. I confess, Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly seen in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fall, through my fall, through my most grievous fall. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, every virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. <clears throat> Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. <clears throat> Lord, have mercy. Glory <clears throat> to God in the highest, and on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, <clears throat> we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son. Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, Receive our prayer. <clears throat> you are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory <clears throat> of God the Father. Amen. We are going to <clears throat> offer um, this Mass for all your intentions, the intentions of uh, all the members of our community. Let us pray. O oh God, <clears throat> who were pleased to give us the uh, shining example of the Holy Family, graciously grant that we may imitate them in practicing the virtues of family life and in the bonds of charity. And so in the joy of your house, delight one day in eternal rewards. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Sirach. God sets a father in honor over his children, a mother's authority he confirms over her sons. Whoever honors his father atones for sins and preserves himself from them. When he prays, he is heard. He stores up riches who reveres his mother. Whoever honors his father is gladdened by children. And when he prays, is heard. Whoever reveres his father will live a long life. 
He who obeys his father brings comfort to his mother. My son, take care of your father when he is old. Grieve him not as long as he lives. Even if his mind fail, be considerate of him. Revile him not all the days of his life. Kindness to a father will not be forgotten. Firmly planted against the debt of your sins. A house raised in justice to you. The word of the Lord. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. Blessed are those who fear in the Lord and walk in his ways. Blessed is everyone who fears the Lord, who walks in his ways, for you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork. Blessed shall you be and favored. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the recesses of your home. Your children like olive plants around your table. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. Behold, thus is the man blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, put on as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, heartfelt compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If one has a grievance against another, as the Lord has forgiven you, so must you also do. And over all these put on love. That is the bond of perfection. And let the peace of Christ control your hearts, the peace into which you were also called in one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, as in all wisdom you teach and admonish one another, singing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, with gratitude in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Wives, be subordinate to your husbands, as is proper in the Lord. Husbands, love your wives and avoid any bitterness toward them. Children, obey your parents in everything for this is pleasing to the Lord. Fathers, do not provoke your children so they may not become discouraged. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When the days were completed for their purification according to the law of Moses, 
they took him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, just as it was written in the law of the Lord. Every male that opens the womb shall be consecrated to the Lord, and to offer the sacrifice of a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons, in accordance with the uh, dictate in the law of the Lord. Now, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was uh, Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, awaiting the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Christ of the Lord. He came in the spirit into the temple. And when the parents brought in the child Jesus to perform the custom of the law in regard to him, he took him into his arms and blessed God, saying, Now, Master, you may let your servant go in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you prepare inside of all the peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles, and glory for your people Israel. The child's father and mother were amazed at what was said about him. And Simeon blessed them and said to Mary, his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be contradicted. And you, yourself, a sword will pierce so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. There was also a prophetess, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel, of the tribe of Asher. She was advanced in years, having lived seven years with her husband after her marriage, and then as a widow, <clears throat> and then as a widow, until she was 84. She never left the temple, but worshipped night and day with fasting and prayer. In coming forward at the very time, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were awaiting the redemption of Jerusalem. When they, have, when they had fulfilled all the prescriptions of the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. <clears throat> The Gospel of the Lord. The, uh, <clears throat> the history, well, have you, let me ask, have any of you ever been to China? Oh, one. So, you like it? Just besides the Chinese food? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, <clears throat> the, uh, <clears throat> the history of the church in China, <clears throat> as in many other countries, has been one of much suffering. Uh, <clears throat> there have been uh, various persecutions, uh, churches have been closed, missionaries have been expelled, and for many years, thousands of Catholics <clears throat> have been left without priests. But <clears throat> the amazing thing, the interesting thing, is that despite <clears throat> all these uh, challenges, 
the faith has remained alive. <clears throat> and today, there are approximately 12 uh, million Catholics in China. So the question is, <clears throat> how could the faith <clears throat> be kept alive despite such difficult circumstances? If there were no priests <clears throat> who were uh, in charge of keeping the faith alive, who do you think? People. Yeah, but exactly, well, the people, um, but especially who? Parents. <laughs> Yeah, parents. <clears throat> well, parents are people. <laughs> yeah, there are people. <laughs> parents, <laughs> okay. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> they were the ones who instructed their children in the faith, and thus the faith was transmitted <clears throat> from generation to generation. If the churches <clears throat> were closed, <clears throat> where did they meet to pray? You want, to, you want to take a wild guess? In their homes. <clears throat> in their homes, obviously, okay? So, in other words, they turn <clears throat> their home <clears throat> into a church, okay? It is what the church calls <clears throat> the uh, domestic church. I don't know if you heard that phrase, domestic church. That's your home, okay? <clears throat> and that's the most important church, not this one, you know? <clears throat> the building, you know, uh, but your church at home. Furthermore, the uh, first Christians met where? In homes. <clears throat> they didn't have these cathedrals and beautiful churches. No, no, okay, that was later on. Everything started at home, okay? Uh, those were the first churches. The family is therefore essential to the church to exist because it is precisely within the intimacy of the family where we meet whom? Jesus, and learn about him, about our faith. And for Jesus, it was <clears throat> no different. He also began to meet and discover his mission at home with Mary and Joseph. That is why the uh, gospel tells us that the child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom. And that happened where? At home. Actually, how many years was Jesus at home before he started his public ministry? 30 years, you know, in the... In home, homeschooling, I guess we can we can call it like that. Homeschooling, you know. That and I think he had great teachers, great catechists, Mary and Joseph. Okay. Uh, today, as you know, we celebrate the Holy Family, precisely to remind ourselves of the uh, central role the family plays in our faith. You know, due to the pandemic. Uh, <clears throat> Just to give you an example, okay, how important the family is. Due to the pandemic, we are not having catechism classes in the church. Where are the children learning about Jesus? At their home, at home, okay? Who are their catechists? Mary and Joseph. You know, I don't know what their parents name, you know? Their parents, okay? Uh, Moreover, it seems that our bishop prefers that after the pandemic, catechism continues to be taught at home because the main responsibility to instruct children in the faith does not, and I repeat, does not belong to the church, but to whom? To parents. That's what they promise, okay, God, when they baptize the children, okay? The church simply <clears throat> helps them in this formation and encourages them, uh, and, it will, and the church will never, never leave them uh, alone. We're always going to be there for you, but it's your responsibility, okay? Not mine, <laughs> okay? So I want to congratulate <clears throat> the parents who take the time to teach their children at home. 
It's very important what you're doing. It is then within the intimacy of the family where we learn to be what St. Paul asks of us in the uh, reading today. We learn to be compassionate, kind, humble, gentle, patient. We learn to respect our parents, not only in their youth, but also in their old age. And it is worth doing because God has promised that, and I quote, kindness to a father will not be forgotten. Isn't that great? Mm -hmm. But yes, as children must obey their parents and respect them, they also have a duty to respect their children and not abuse their authority. That is why Paul tells them, fathers, do not provoke your children so they may not become discouraged. What is the best way for a child to learn from their parents? Well, <clears throat> through their just talking? Example, of course. Through their example. That is what Jesus did. <clears throat> and that is why so many people follow him. They were attracted by his life, by his example, not just by what he was preaching. Hmm? Jesus' most important lesson was about what? Give me the word. <laughs> Starts with an L and ends with an E. About love. First commandment, love. Okay? He was an expert in love. Hmm? How did he teach us to love? By love. How, how, how do you learn to drive? <laughs> By driving. <laughs> How, how did we teach, how did Jesus teach uh, us to love? By loving us, by loving us, okay? Uh, that is precisely what we celebrate at Christmas, that God in his infinite love became like one of us and then died on a cross and rose again to give us eternal life. That's the good news. Then we hear, women, <clears throat> respect the authority of your husbands as the Lord wants it. Okay, see how many wives do we have here? <laughs> Let's see, okay, is she obedient to you, Frank? She respects you all the time, huh? <laughs> he's laughing. <laughs> well, he says, he's woman, respect the authority of your husbands as the Lord wants it. But then, okay, Husbands, oh, okay. husbands, love your wives and do not be rude to them. Okay, is he nice to you? This is, sounds like confession. <laughs> okay, so it's advice for both, for both, okay? But you know, <clears throat> seriously, one of the things that has, you know, this, this is really concerning. One of the things that has um, increased during the pandemic is domestic violence. It's sad, okay, but that's a reality. So, how is a child going to learn to respect women if all they see at home is violence? It's not gonna work. <laughs> so, here's the question. What is the example that you are giving to your children? The example. Not just what you're telling them, what you are doing. What's your example? How then are children going to fall in love with Jesus in the Eucharist? Well, by bringing them to Mass. <laughs> okay. Again, your example is crucial. But don't bring them only when a Mass card needs to be signed. <laughs> Which, by the way, I'm tired of. Well, I don't do it, <laughs> but I'm sure the people are tired of signing those cards, but we have to do it, okay? So <clears throat> don't bring them only when a mass card needs to be signed, but always and out of love for Jesus. Mm -hmm. 
So I congratulate and I commend all the parents who with such dedication bring their children to Mass every Sunday, especially now, you know, that we're doing the Mass outside, it's cold. I really thank you. And he thanks you. As good parents, you are following the example of Joseph and Mary, who present Jesus in the temple, because no matter how important the family is, the temple, the church, the Eucharist, are indispensable. Amen. Amen. Do you believe in God the Father Almighty, <clears throat> creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? This is our faith. This is the faith of the church. We are proud to profess it. In Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Our Lord uh, chose to share with us the uh, schooling of human growth in the uh, intimate and first community that is the family because we are called to be God's chosen ones, his family, let us pray simply for all families. The respond, Christ hear us. May kindness take lasting root in our lives, making our homes centers of warmth and peace, we pray. Christ hear us. That the parents, recalling the love that gave life to their children, my admonish in patience and wisdom, thankful to God for their sons and daughters, we pray. Amen. That children dedicate themselves to thankfulness, recognizing that from their parents they receive gifts they can never lose, we pray. Amen. The brothers and sisters sharing the life of the same family might bear with one another, and that they might recognize that all men are brothers. We pray. For ourselves, that we may believe like Mary, that all God's promises to us will be fulfilled. We pray. We also <clears throat> pray for Manuel, Castañón, and for all the homeless for whom we offer this Mass, we pray. <clears throat> and now for all the intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray. <clears throat> Christ hear us. <clears throat> our Father, your son and our brother came to teach us mercy and forgiveness. May his spirit of peace and wisdom draw all men into one family and bring us home to you. <clears throat> Amen. Amen. Please be seated. <clears throat> we would like to <clears throat> invite those who are watching online to make a gift online, or if you prefer, uh, please mail your uh, donation to the parish or you can bring it to the parish office. 
And as always, thank you for your continued generosity <clears throat> to your parish community during these difficult times. May God bless you. Pray, my brothers and sisters, our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <clears throat> we offer you, Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation, humbly asking that through the intercession of the Virgin Mother of God and Saint Joseph, you may establish our families firmly in your grace and your peace, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. <clears throat> Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks <clears throat> to the Lord our God. It is uh, <clears throat> truly right and just our duty in our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to Christ our Lord. For through, for through him, the holy exchange that restores our life has shone forth today in splendor, when our frailty is assumed by your word. Not only does human mortality receive unending honor, but by this wondrous union, we too are made eternal. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, <clears throat> holy, holy Lord, God of heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son in the highest. O Son in the highest. <clears throat> You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and made them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, but the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, 
at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his friend, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. And he also said to them, do this in memory of me. My brothers and sisters, the mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, <clears throat> and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we <clears throat> celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation <clears throat> of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and uh, filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering uh, to you, so that we may obtain inheritance uh, with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with, bless with blessed uh, Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, St. Francis of Rome, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May, the, uh, may this sacrifice of uh, our reconciliation, we pray, O oh Lord, advance uh, the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant uh, Francis, our Pope, and Myron, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you in your compassion, O merciful Father, Gather to yourself or your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you <clears throat> at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. To Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. through him and with him and in him. O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And now the Savior's command, <clears throat> informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, <clears throat> Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thou be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into... <clears throat> Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, 
and graciously uh, grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. <clears throat> Let us share a sign of love and peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. This is Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are they who invited to his supper. Lord, know what to do is you. Our God has appeared on the earth and lived among us. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Bring those uh, you refresh with this heavenly sacrament, most merciful Father, to imitate, imitate constantly the example of the Holy Family, so that after the uh, trials of this world, we may share their company forever. To Christ our Lord. <clears throat> Can you sit for two, three minutes, please? Uh, <clears throat> just uh, <clears throat> a reminder. The uh, Masses for New Year's, uh, the 31st, is going to be at um, one, 1 o'clock, okay, 1 o'clock outside. Uh, just bring your mask and you know the rest. <laughs> uh, and um, the, uh, for New Year's Day, is going to be at 10 in the morning. Uh, hopefully you can come with your whole family, okay? And, uh, <clears throat> and also, St. Vincent de Paul received a small grant to help Riverbank residents affected by COVID-19. If you need help, please call the parish office. We're here to serve the community, to help you as much as we can. And uh, <clears throat> the uh, Society of Our Lady of Fatima will uh, hold a fundraising raffle for the benefit of our parish. First prize, uh, 55 Inch smart TV, second prize, $200 Walmart gift card, third prize, $100 Target gift card, and fourth prize, the uh, nativity set. Donations, uh, $5 per ticket or three tickets for $10. And tickets are available in the parish office. Uh, it is nice, uh, it's a nice gift uh, for Christmas, we're still in Christmas, okay? So, uh, and I wanna uh, thank the, uh, Our Lady Fatima Society for organizing this raffle. So please support your parish. And that's it. <laughs> please rise. The Lord be with you. <clears throat> Please bow your heads to receive God's blessing, a special blessing. <clears throat> May the God of infinite goodness, who by the incarnation of his Son has driven darkness from the world, and by that glorious birth, birth has illumined his most, this most holy day, Drive far from you the darkness of vice and illumine your hearts with the light of virtue. Amen. Amen. May God, who will that the great joy of his son's saving birth be announced to shepherds by the angel, fill your minds with the gladness uh, he gives and may your heralds of his gospel. Amen. Amen. And may God, who by the incarnation brought together the earth the earthly and heavenly world, fill you with gift, with the gift of his peace and favor, and make you sharers with the church in heaven. Amen. And with the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, come down on you and your loved ones and remain with you forever. Amen. And now in the joy of Christ's birth, you may go in peace. Merry Christmas again, uh, and have a great weekend.